Hello there! It's time for another Brew Day video. This time, I'm talking like a twat now, aren't I? Yeah, sorry. Let me start again. Hello. How you doing? Um, yeah, it's time for another Brew Day video. Uh, I am doing my first ever smash beer. So let's get started. of wort. This was meant to be a smaller batch than my normal batches um, because the fermentation bucket that I'm using is smaller and I've already got a brew in the foam fridge which is using a bigger bucket. So we've got 20 litres which is what I expected. We've got you know a litre or so left in the bottom of the um, of the uh, brew kettle and I've got a litre of yeast starter to stuck in there. I've already taken off a litre of um, uh, wort that was at the top Let's add this in. It's my son in the background, you can hear, being noisy playing Minecraft. Okay, so let's get a lid on this. Put this down. Okay, uh, let's get the lid on this and get this in the uh, firm fridge. And I am going to need a blow off tube for this, big time. Cool, there she is, tucked up in bed. Uh, it's actually ended up being. 21 and a half, 22 litres, a bit more than I was hoping for. Um, we are going to have probably quite a big fermentation. Um, so this blow off tube is well needed. Uh, up above it, we've actually got, uh, this is the coconut porter that I did last week, which will be probably up on YouTube very soon. Anyway, two brews on the go. Oh yeah. So 
So, there we are, that's the brew day. Um, now, it's like a smash, let me just get the recipe. So the recipe I have here. Um, now, this video, this video, this beer, I brew, try to keep it as pure as possible. So Golden Promise, six kilograms. Um, I had 500 grams of carapils, 500 grams of wheat malt, and 500 grams of Oh, f uh, float, 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 float oats, flaked oats. Yeah, um, I used porridge oats. I always use porridge oats in my beer. I never, I, I, I have every now and then used like golden naked oats or flaked oats or malted oats. Um, uh, usually, I just go for porridge oats. They're so easy to buy, and they, they, you would imagine them giving it a nice hazy, creamy consistency. Now, 500 grams out of six, seven and a half grams is what percentage is that so not a lot seven percent something like that seven point five percent um when it first came out of the keg it was nice and hazy not not dank but you know just a bit hazy it's now been in the keg two and a half weeks and look how it's cleared out yeah the the, the haze from the oats is gone um it's the you know the haze is totally dropped out and it's it's looking like a nice you know a very Almost very clear, not quite. A beautiful colour beer, you know. Um, I wasn't really going for a real heavy haze on this beer. The one thing I really wanted to get was a really nice pale colour, and that's exactly what I have. So when I kegged it, um, I was very adamant on trying to make sure that no oxygen got into the keg and there was no oxygen that got in and ruined the transfer. Um, I purged the keg, um, I uh, when I when I started pouring the beer into the keg, there was this beautiful smoky carbon dioxide that came out of the top of the keg, and I just knew that I'd not got any oxygen in there. Uh, you know, poured almost to the top, locked it up, put it away for a week, and then um, stuck it in the kegerator ready for chilling. And a couple of days later, I started dr drinking it. It was hazy. That's what we currently have. But like I've said, the colour is. Phenomenal. I am so pleased with that yellow. Not a hint of orange at all. Just a beautiful, beautiful yellow. Um, it's really nice. You know, just the, you can see there the little bubbles, just the light carbonation. It's not too heavily carbonated. You know, for a nice summer beer, um, considering it is pissing it down outside. For a nice summer beer, it's beautiful. Um, if it was able to last that long. So I've had it in there two and a half weeks. I don't reckon it's going to make it much further. Uh, than the weekend. Um, so, the Zaka is the only hop I've used in this. I used, uh, let me get my hop schedule here. Um, it was a tiny little bit, where are we with the hops here? So, a tiny little bit, 30 grams went in at 15, 50 minute, 15 minutes. I put 100 grams, I'm pretty sure I put 50 grams in at Whirlpool, not 100 grams. Um, I definitely know I've got 100 grams in that dry hop at 7 days and 100 grams in at 3 days. So you're talking about 250 grams. It's come out at 7.4%. Um, now the smell I get off of this is... You know, I'd heard that Azaka was quite a citrusy, tropical um, kind of hop. The smell I get off of this is almost like a, a Belgian... A Belgian hopped beer. Yeah, it's um, slightly funky. Very, it's not. It doesn't smell tropical. I would never say this smells tropical. Yeah, funky is the kind of the smell that I'm getting off of this. Um, so, yeah, not that impressed with the smell. I, I haven't been since I started drinking it. I was kind of like, this doesn't smell quite like I was expecting it to. I was expecting a bit more tropical. Um, and then it's the yeast I used, which was the Cross Maloof Parallel Yeast. Um, I don't know if it's the hops, I really don't know, because I've heard that Azak is quite a tropical smelling hop. But it smells a bit more funky to me. Um, so I'm going to give it a taste, see if it tastes as good as it looks, yeah? Now... Yeah, there is a. I think the the, the cross my loof pale ale yeast has given it a slightly 
almost Belgian yeast kind of flavour. There is that kind of, not huge, not massive amounts like you would get from a Belgian yeast, but at the back of the throat there is a kind of Belgian yeast, slightly funky kind of taste that you get with, you know, if you were drinking like a, you know, some sort of Belgian beer. I can't remember the names of any of them at the moment, you know. Um, but the hop flavour that I'm getting off of this, along with the aroma, is not tropical, it's not citrusy, it's more melon is the closest fruit I can actually say this tastes like melon. Not not um well like honeydew melon, not like you know big green and red watermelon. Honeydew melon is the closest I can get to this. But very ripe where the flavour becomes a little bit, you know, funny. Anyway, it's a nice beer. It's okay to drink. I'm quite enjoying it. Um, would I brew with a Zacker again? Not in its own, I don't think. I would brew with something else. I'd probably mix it with something else. Um, you know, probably something a little bit more tropical, like Citra, Mosaic, something like that. Um, I would not do that on it. Do it on its own. Um, but this being my first smash beer, I've actually really enjoyed being able to taste the hops on their own. I'm very pleased with the colour. My next one I hope comes out a bit more hazy, um, so my next one I've increased the hop um, uh, amount in with the rest of the grain mill, um, so we'll see what that one comes out like, that's for a future video. But anyway, a Zaka Smash, it's okay, I wouldn't brew it again, but I'm going to enjoy drinking it. Happy homebrew guys.